J'avais pas vous, mon amour Vantez voir, vantez vous, mon amour Hey guys, I hope you're all well So I know we can't go anywhere right now But I hope that this video provides some outfit inspiration For your first formal outing For the first look, I'm wearing this beautiful dress from Under the Stories I really didn't want to take this dress off it's a great spin on a classic black dress and it has these amazing structured sleeves that add a bit of drama for anyone who likes to make a statement. The dress fits like a glove and would be a dream on so many different body shapes and I'm in love with the tie up detail at the back. I find a lot of the details on this dress very sweet and playful. I'm sticking with a monochrome look here because I wanted the whole outfit to look chic, sophisticated. So I'm pairing the dress with these simple strappy heels and my Dior saddle bag. I've also really been loving red nails at the moment and they definitely help to jazz up a very simple look like this. For accessories I opted for some gold pieces of course. I'm really in love with these earrings which are from under the stories. I'm finding that they go with both evening and casual looks. But I feel like this dress is definitely one of those pieces that you can throw on and instantly feel amazing. And I'm really going to be banking this dress for the first outing post lockdown. This next look is actually one that I wear quite a lot casually but I love wearing suits to formal events and the colour and fabric on this particular one just makes the whole look more laid back. It's actually an old suit from Zara and is the perfect tone for summer. I have had so much wear out of this last year and I really love how polished and sleek this look is and it would be perfect for an evening event. This suit is actually one of the most comfortable suits that I own. The material is so soft and easy to wear. It's perfect during the day, during the night. It has an elasticated waistband as well. So it's perfect if you're going for an evening meal. Because I wanted to keep this look very minimal and simple, I've paired it with what is clearly my new favorite strappy heels. They're from Under the Stories and I'm wearing it with a small minimal bag from Jigsaw just to keep the outfit really understated. My favourite thing to wear when I'm stuck for inspiration is to throw on a statement dress and I have this dress from Under the Stories and although I'm not one for colour, I am absolutely in love with it. I feel like it would be the perfect dress for a garden party or a wedding. It flows so beautifully and is super airy so it would be great in warm climates. I really love the tiered detailing on the skirt, I feel like it makes the whole look just more sweet and more romantic. This dress is a massive statement itself so I kept everything else minimal and these heels seem to go with every outfit and it really tied this whole look together. I do feel like I can imagine pulling this dress out next summer if there aren't any opportunities to wear it right now. It's a really classic summer dress and I think it would look as beautiful next year as it does now. It wouldn't feel right if I didn't include a pair of jeans in one of my lookbooks. This shirt is literally calling out for a party. It's from Cezanne and I purchased it last year for New Year's, but unfortunately I was ill so I didn't really get a chance to wear it out. I love how bold it is and I also find combining it with a pair of jeans helps make the outfit look more effortless and laid back. I love buying shirts like these that are quite a big statement and quite flashy, so when the opportunity arises I can easily throw something on and I'll feel more ready for a formal event. My next look is sporting another dress that I purchased around Christmas. It's from H&M and it's probably the only short dress that I own. And I like that although it's quite fun and youthful, there are ways of dressing it up so I still feel like myself. I wanted to keep this outfit looking sophisticated and chic so I opted for my Chanel bag and a pair of Dior pumps just to pull the whole outfit together and keep it looking monochrome. This dress is quite a statement on its own and it has this beautiful shimmery fabric and I really wanted that to be the main focus here so I kept my accessories pretty light, just opted for some simple gold jewellery and a very simple pair of earrings. The earrings that I opted for are from Fedoma and I really love that crystal detailing because it makes the whole outfit just look more jazzy and more evening appropriate. 
My final look is a very simple understated outfit and it focuses heavily on bold statement accessories. I think this outfit really shows how much a chunky necklace or a bold belt can elevate an outfit and I've been loving these trousers from Under the Stories and I've been wearing them a lot during the day. They were really comfortable and they have this amazing deep turn up cuff at the bottom and I really love when a basic piece has a unique detail like this. I've paired it with an oversized belt and a super chunky crystal choker. Sometimes I'll wear a really casual outfit in the evening but I'll pair it with a statement necklace like this and it feels more evening appropriate. I definitely think this is a day to night look as well so perfect if you were out during the day and you had to quickly jazz up for the evening. And I also think that this is an outfit that is great for people who aren't too big on party wear because it's so simple and it's so understated. But it still has those party wear elements so it helps to elevate it from a day look to an evening or party wear look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!